Students, I want to talk to you for a few minutes in regards to having a very successful year here at Friendswood Junior High. Typically, we're able to go into the auditorium and have these conversations as a large group, but because of some protocols that we have in place, we just want to do a short video to kind of share this information with you so that you can have a very successful year uh, this year. I'm standing in front of our belief statement from our strategic plan. And folks, this is what allows us to provide you with a quality education. And for us to be able to provide you with a quality education, there's certain things that you're gonna be responsible for that you're gonna to have to help us with. So hopefully you'll understand as we get through with this conversation today <clears throat> what the requirements are for you to help us attain these belief statements for our school and for our district. One of the things that, that I hold very dear to myself is how we treat others. And folks, we don't, we're not going to agree with everybody. We don't have to be friends with everybody, but our goal is for you to be respectful to everybody. Respect who they are, respect how they look, whatever the situation might be. It's just a full out respect for each other that allows us to have a very successful year. The other one that's very concerning to me is the care for this school. We're now into our 11th year into this school and many parts of it look just as great as it did the day we opened. But unfortunately, every now and then, some people decide that, well, we're gonna mess a bathroom up, or we're going to write on this, or we're gonna do that, which causes concern for not only the care of the school, but also for the facility itself and having to do the manual upkeep to take care of that. And it's just not the right thing to do. We have to hire people to come in <clears throat> and do painting, or we have to hire them to come in and clean up, uh, whatever it might be. The responsibility falls on you also to try to help keep our school looking great and being clean for the next person coming in the bathroom, or the next person sitting down at that lunch table, or the next person fixing to come in and sit in that desk into that classroom. So please help us. And if you know or you see somebody doing something destructive to the school, you always have that see something, say something app that you can go to and you can describe it to us and who it was, what time it was, where it was, anything like that to help us uh, locate that person. So help us out in taking care of our school, okay? Students, the next area that I want to talk to you about are our hallways. Folks, our hallways are not real wide, and when we have class change, there's a lot of activity that goes on in the hallways. Folks, we want you to keep your hands to yourself. Keep your feet to yourself. We do not want you going up, messing with anybody, any inappropriate physical contact or anything like that. The other area are your lockers. Folks, these lockers belong to us, and we let you use them. Anything that you have in this locker is accessible to us because we have keys to it and we can go into the locker anytime. So make sure that you're, you're not keeping anything in your locker that you shouldn't be. Make sure that you're taking care of anything like that. The next thing is don't give your combination to somebody else because if, somebody, if you do and somebody puts something in your locker, say, hey, I want to put this in your locker, but we find it in your locker, you're held responsible for that also. So don't let anybody put anything in your locker that you know that is illegal to have on campus. The next part of it is leaving it open. Many people claim that things got stolen from them only to find out that their locker never was even shut. So please make sure that you're closing your locker at all times and you're not leaving it open uh, for them. The next part of it is about tardies. Folks, you've got five minutes to get between classes. If you need to take your books with you into a certain class so you can go directly to your next class, that's fine. But don't congregate out in the hallways. Make sure you get to class on time so the teacher can start instruction. That will help them and it will also help you if everybody's hallways are cleared, once that tardy bell rings and class can start inside. Thank you. Students, another part of school safety is how we enter the building and how we exit the building. One of the troubling things is that at the end of the day, when you're very excited about leaving, 
that you go in areas where there's a lot of traffic. And that is including these crosswalks that we have going out of the auditorium, going out of the, the gymnasium area, out of going out the front door. So we want to talk to you about the appropriate way to do that. We do not want you just walking across the driveways in any, at any point in time without somebody being there in that crosswalk, okay? There's some parents that want to park over by the uh, basketball court. And if that's the case, we do not want you walking across the parking lot and then across the street to get to them. You're going to have to use the crosswalks to get there. If you're going into the back of the school, we want you to use our sidewalk that goes through that four-way stop back here at um, Falcon Ridge and Madison Parkway. So there's going to be a couple of shots here that we're going to show you what we're talking about, but we definitely need you to make sure that you're using crosswalks of how to exit the school and get home safely. Students, a couple of other areas here as we start uh, winding down here that we want to really talk about are the use of cell phones on campus. Folks, at this point in time, you are allowed to have your cell phone with you, but you can't have it out in class unless the teacher gives you permission to have that phone out for a specific use as far as uh, instructional purposes go. But in the hallways, during lunchtime, before school, after school, you're not to be taking pictures or videos of other people. You're not to be looking for inappropriate sites. You're only to be able to use that for you be able to do something instructionally, or you can watch, a, you can play a game on it, whatever it might be. But if you are, the sound has to be down. And if you have headphones or earbuds, you may must have one ear uh, unobstructed where you could hear any type of instructions that we're giving you. So make sure if, uh, if you want to continue to use your cell phone around here, you use it appropriately. But especially remember, you can only use it in the classroom when the teacher says you may use it. And you definitely cannot be taking pictures or videos of other people uh, around campus, okay? Another one that we want to talk about is dress code. And this kind of uh, is always a very delicate subject for all of us, but just folks, this issue around rip pants, make sure that the rips in it are not above fingertip length when you're standing straight up, and that they're not so ripped up that there's huge gaping holes in the legs or whatever, wherever it might be. So make sure you're taking care of that part of it as far <clears throat> as, far as the rips are concerned. The other part is the modesty side of it, and that's where we're not wearing tank tops, we're not wearing spaghetti, spaghetti straps. Uh, also, uh, skin in the, the midriff area is to be covered up, and uh, you know, it's not, it's not any fun for us to have to call you in for dress code violation, but if we have to, we will, and then at that point in time, you'll have to put appropriate clothes on, have them come home from uh, come from home, or maybe we would have some in your uh, locker that you could put on then too. So help us out with that part. The other one is the hair color. Folks, if you uh, if you plan on dyeing your hair, make sure that it's going to be of a natural color. It's not going to be purple or green or a blue or anything like that. So just make sure that you abide by the dress code rules. And I think they're on page like 64 or 65 in the, in the handbook if you want to go uh, read through those to make sure you're in compliance with that. Another area that really, really cause you a lot of problems is bringing a prohibited item on campus. Vape, a knife, a weapon of any kind, alcohol, whatever it might be. You are not allowed to bring any of those items on campus or anything that can be classified as a prohibitive item. Nunchucks is one that will get you kicked out of school. So just make sure you understand and know what those would be. And the sad part about that is that typically the police department also get involved at that point in time if you bring a prohibited item on campus. And that typically will include a citation for you and also could be a mandatory 45 days out of school in a DAEP program. So please help us making sure that your backpacks do not have anything in them that would be classified as prohibited item. You're not carrying anything on you or keeping it inside your locker. And I just talked about a few consequences that can go along. Folks, 
our job is to try to provide you with a quality education. We want to be able to do that. And sometimes if you make a mistake, then there are consequences that go with that. And I tell kids in here all the time in my office, if you know it's against the rules, but you're going to go ahead and do it anyhow, you're essentially telling us you'll take whatever consequence that comes your way. That even could be the fact that you're going to, parents are going to have to pay to fix whatever problem you've caused around here, which a lot of parents don't have a lot of extra money sitting around. So please take into consideration how it not only affect you, but affect other students and possibly your parents before you make those unwise decisions. I know this talked a lot about don't do this or don't do that, but folks, we're really here to try to help you have a great day, day in and day out, in a safe environment for everybody. I saw a video the other day about a young man, and I'm going to ask your teachers to show this video to you right now. It's a little bit of an inspiring video, and uh, I hope you listen to the message that it brings forward to you in the fact that, yeah, you may suffer a little disappointment at some point in time, but folks, don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Thank you. Have a great school year. We're looking for great things from you.